As many of you know, I spend a lot of time in nature. If I'm not working, I am trying at least every day to get outside to change my perspective. Hence the little birds that seem to be around my head wherever I go. Well, let me leave them out of it for a while and let them just do their tweet tweeting and flying by and talk to you a little about the value that I find in getting outdoors. And especially right now, I think not, uh, we're not getting outdoors enough. Well, getting outdoors might minimally mean opening the window and stopping and doing what cats do, which is just staring, looking out at the world. And maybe maximally it is taking a walk or a hike, going outside, taking a drive, even with the car closed, if that's how we feel comfortable. But looking around, not only at people and buildings and houses, but making a point of looking at colors and trees and mountains, changing our perspective. One of the things that I find challenging in cities, as much as I get excited by being in cities, is that I lose perspective. I lose the sense of nature. Yes, cities have great and beautiful parks, but what we see is all human-made, typically, and it's great to look beyond that and see the mountains behind, to see what surrounds us. Sometimes we need that scope, that scale, to get a sense of humility, our place in the world, and a sense of possibility, the scope of what is and what might be, the inspiration. Again, those birds circling above my head. I think about walks that I've taken and hikes that I've taken and staring at the sea recently, looking out at the ocean and jumping in sometimes, to realize what it is to just be at one with something so much larger than myself, to feel the sand between my toes, to jump into the cold and salty ocean and realize the smallness of being and the greatness of the expanse of creation, what it is to be part of a world, actually connected to it, feeling in it, literally immersed in it. So my suggestion is that we, all of us, for the sake of our own health and our own well-being, mentally and physically, both, that we spend more time outdoors. Something that was taught to me once by a book or a teacher was when you're going outside, instead of just going out as we often do, driving or walking, really in our thoughts, not so much in our environment, is make a point of looking out and noticing the colors of trees, the colors of leaves. See what it is to actually be focused on a particular thing in nature. And you'll see how it slows your breath, eases your heartbeat, gives you a greater sense of peace and calm. To the birds and to you, take good care.